Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today, tonight I'm going to talk about uh, multiple different things actually, uh, but they're all tied back to the same thing. So if your child has uh, motion sickness, difficulty in school, balance and coordination problems, um, fear of heights, toe walking, uh, those are just some of the things that we're going to be talking about tonight. So if your kid has those things, it's going to be of particular importance to you. But the one common thing that all kids that uh, struggle with those issues uh, the one thing that they typically all have that I've seen in my office is a, a retained tonic labyrinthine reflex. And what a tonic labyrinthine reflex is, is it's, it's abbreviated TLR, but it's a reflex that you're born with and it should go away by at least probably three years of age. So it lasts quite a while, but at the, or at the max it should last about three years of age and then it should go away. Um, but what, why it's there at the beginning, why you have it during infancy and why you have it when you're born is it helps us learn how to fight gravity and it helps us keep our neck and uh, head on straight through gravity. So when we're uh, you know, in the womb and we're uh, in the womb of mom for so long and we're not having to fight gravity and then all of a sudden we're born and we have to deal with something, a stressor called gravity. And that's why this TLR is there originally is it, it helps us kind of keep our head on straight. It helps us master the control of our neck musculature and making sure that our, our head isn't uh, you know flopping around. And it just basically gives us practice of balancing with our head and neck. And what happens is uh, eventually it should go away, but if it doesn't and it sticks around and the, then they become school age and they still have this, then it can contribute to things like balance and coordination issues. Um, the TLR has to do with the vestibular system, which is your balance system. It has to do with uh, visual tracking and your, your eye's ability to converge in and be able to read. So a lot of kids that have convergence issues with their eyes have a, have a TLR. Um, auditory processing has been shown for that uh, fear of heights and motion sickness. This goes back to the vestibular system and their ability to perceive that balance. And a lot of times they feel like they're not uh, able to balance very well, so that's why they don't necessarily care for heights is because they don't trust their own body because they don't feel like they uh, have the balance required. Uh, so subconsciously they're not a big fan of heights. And then as well as motion sickness when, when in a car. Uh, it can affect muscle tone. It can make the kid have really floppy muscles or really rigid muscles. Um, and they're also their ability to focus and pay attention in school and be able to learn. And in particular, uh, reading, writing, and uh, math are, are uh, really hard for kids with a TLR because uh, they have trouble with something called sequencing, which is uh, being able to like read consecutive words or uh, count consecutive uh, numbers and things like that. Uh, they're, they have difficulty judging distances and depth and depth perception, so they could have, because of that, have bad uh, hand-eye coordination. And you could tie in that they, they aren't able to converge their eyes as well. And then also they, they tend to slouch as well. So all of these things can be tied back to kids that don't get rid of this TLR. So if you're wondering, okay, you have this as an infant to help develop your neck musculature and to keep your head on straight and be able to fight against gravity, then why do some kids not get rid of it? And it's usually because uh, if you think about when your kid's starting to crawl, and uh, they're on their tummy, and when they're on their tummy, they lift up their neck and they look, and that's how they start developing the back of this neck musculature. So if they don't do that long enough, and they don't build up that musculature enough, and they're not on their tummy enough, looking up and building that neck musculature, then that is probably the most common way that they uh, kind of skip over that and don't get rid of this TLR, and then it leads to things uh, like we've been talking about all video. So. Uh, the number one thing is you want to make sure that your kid doesn't have this TLR if they are struggling with those issues. So first see if that's uh, what is the problem. And the, the way that you test for it, the way that I test for it in my office is you're going to uh, put their feet together, you're going to close their eyes, and then you're going to have them look all the way down at the ground and you're going to see if they start swaying back and forth. And the forward one is not very common, but usually what's common is if they have their feet together, they close their eyes, and then you tip their head all the way back and see, and you want to be there to catch them if they do have it because they're going to start swaying and they might even fall. And basically they're not able to get, uh, keep their balance when you close their eyes and tilt their head back. And that would be uh, an indicator that they still have this TLR. So then what we do is, is go in and get rid of that. But uh, as far as balance, uh, visual tracking, convergence of the eyes, uh, auditory processing, fear of heights, all these different things. <laughs> Nebraska Home Pediatrics says it's past my bedtime. Uh, thank you for looking out for me, Aaron. But uh, I'll be going to bed soon, don't worry. 
Uh, and then again, their ability to focus, pay attention in school, especially if they're uh, struggling in math. A lot of people have found that uh, kids with a retained TLR really struggle with math. And then difficulty judging distances, uh, hand-eye coordination, you know, a ball coming at them and their ability to catch it and then slouching are all very common things uh, as well as motion sickness. So if your kid has any of those things, you can try out that at-home test and, and see if you can close their eyes and tilt their head back and if they lose their balance or have excessive swaying, uh, just make sure you're there to catch them because uh, I don't want your kid to fall on the ground. But uh, if they do happen to have this TLR, then that's kind of what our office uh, is, is going to do is we're going to get rid of that reflex. And the way we do that is multiple different things. Uh, one is obviously chiropractic adjustments because that's um, what we focus in and that's what we specialize in. Uh, but that's all I have for you today. Uh, I will make sure to go to bed for uh, Aaron and, and, and please her. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great day and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow night on Facebook Live.